My name is Martin from The Principles. I'm sitting here with my dear friend Jackie, who I helped a while ago overcome some challenges in life. And I think you'd love to hear a story. So I'm going to ask Jackie just to give a bit of background about how we came to meet each other. If you could do that, Jackie, that'd be great. Well, uh, surprisingly, I first met Martin on a train. I was going down to London and uh, he sat next to me and uh, he started talking on this phone and I thought, well, that sounds interesting, what's he on about? So I ended up talking to him, basically. Okay. And then what prompted you to get in touch with me later on? Well, during that uh, first conversation, um, I spoke to him about my son who was suffering with schizophrenia and yeah. I asked, having found out what Martin's work was, whether he thought he could in any way help him and um, I took his name and his telephone number to see if I wanted to revisit mm. it later. Mm. So what was the prompt for you? What, what were you experiencing then that uh, yeah. got you getting in touch with me? Well, I mean, at that time I was terribly worried about my son anyway, mm. but then uh, a few months later he died suddenly. Yeah. Not suicide, but a uh, very rare illness. And um, I was obviously <laughs> distraught, mm. in despair, mm. didn't know where to turn. Mm. And then I remembered the chap on the train, which was Martin. So I gave him a, rang, uh, a ring and asked um, if he thought he might be able to help me. And if I remember, um, I think you said to me at the time when we first met up that you'd had some help uh, before, but actually you felt that there was still a long way for you to go. Would that be how, how I yes, remember? Yes, yes. Mm. Um, when my son was first diagnosed, mm. I became very depressed, um, which apparently is quite common, mm. and I was on medication mm. and also went to see a counsellor, a therapist, mm -hmm. who, who was helpful in um, leading me to understand some of my feelings and responses. But mm. when he died, I, I didn't really know where to turn. Mm. Mm. And then obviously something in, inside of you prompted you to get in touch. That's right. So, you mentioned depression, um, and uh, obviously there was a tremendous bereavement and struggle for you. Yes. Is there anyone, anything else that you want to share with people to describe your thoughts and emotions at the time? Well, um... And even fears, I guess. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, uh, I mean, I was desperate mm. because... He was gone. Uh, I couldn't mm. help him anymore. Mm. And obviously I didn't know where he was. I had an existential terror of that mm. he simply disappeared. And mm. Mm. I was beside myself, really. Mm. Um, and it's great that you uh, are able to share this and openly and honestly with people because I'm sure... Some of you will relate to this. So, what would you say to people in terms of what we did? How do you think uh, the work we did together helped you? What was it about it that made the difference, you think? Well, from my point of view, Martin had such a skilled sense of empathy and insight that I felt even when I was unable to express my thoughts and feelings mm. um, sufficiently accurately and with good articulation mm -hmm. he, he understood almost as if he was there in my head with me mm -hmm. and um, he helped me deal with the pain of loss and mm. and help me recognize that this wasn't the end for Thomas mm -hmm. or me mm -hmm. and, mm. um, and I think you said at the time that you found it um, there was some reassurance there was that how you yeah described it absolutely yeah. Um, it was the reassurance 
that he hadn't gone forever mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that I would be able to uh, be with him sometime and, mm -hmm. you know, perhaps communicate with him. But that everything in life was more meaningful than I had felt it was before. Yes, yes. Um, and like you, Jackie, uh, and as I've shared with um, you guys, I've had, I wouldn't say similar experiences, but certainly have felt uh, deep depression and how much that changes our outlook and so on and so forth. And um, something like this uh, is a challenge to get back into life, isn't it? it yes. Mm. Yes, I mean, at first I didn't even want to leave the house. I yeah. just found everything very frightening. Yeah. And I certainly remember that in myself, is that I just wanted to close the world off. <clears throat> so, is there anything in particular that you would say to people who perhaps are in a similar situation or having deep depression or as to if they were sitting on the fence or something, or how would you...? Um... Well, as I say, I, I... Yes, I was profoundly depressed. Obviously, I was um, in despair, really. Mm. Um, and medication helps, and therapy mm. helps. Mm. But really, what was most helpful to me was Martin's ability to understand mm. and share my experience and share his um, wisdom to help me get through mm. the, the pain I was experiencing mm. and, and become a more normal person mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously, I still miss my boy, but somehow I can live with it now. Mm. Mm. And um, <clears throat> the people that I've uh, come into contact uh, since uh, you and I worked together, Jackie, there are a couple of themes there. Mm. One is that people are very, very afraid of uh, approaching someone. People feel that they'll be judged, um, mm. Mm. so on and so forth. So yeah. uh, is there any particular messages you could say about that to them? Well, yes, I was uh, very afraid and it was a real step into the dark. But... Mm. Um, mm. Don't be afraid. Martin is able to offer you safety and reassurance and security and you will never feel judged or mm. awkward. or I mean, there was I completely in floods of tears and um, thinking, oh God, you know, with my nose running and everything. And actually, I didn't even feel embarrassed. I mm. felt okay because mm. I felt safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, if it's okay with you, Jackie, I just mm -hmm. wanted to share the fact that your background, um, what you do yeah. as a profession, <laughs> yes. obviously that played a part in where you um, mm -hmm. sought help. Could you tell people about that? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm a psychologist, so I mm -hmm. have quite a scientific background. And I felt, well, you know, I was clutching at straws, really, you know, getting in touch with this bloke. I don't know him. I don't know his background. What's he mm. going to be able to do to help me? But as mm. I say, I was in despair and something prompted me to follow him up. And, mm. Mm. well, it was life changing. That's all I can say. Mm. It was life changing. And um, for my part, I'm going to uh, share it was uh, such a privilege uh, working with Jackie, meeting with Jackie and being able to uh, make a difference. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, and I will see you again. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>